Welcome, in front of me is a Google Pixel 6a and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. You can see that the phone I have right here is locked and I can verify it using the previously set up pattern or using the Google account. So and obviously no way that I could progress through the setup of the device without actually needing to verify this. Now to get started with the bypass, you will number one need to connect to Wi-Fi. So progress through the setup till you get to this page right here, connect to some kind of network that you can connect to, and from there back out to the beginning page, the one where it says welcome to your pixel. Now from here you want to tap on the uh, assistant, uh, assistive options and select, I believe it's vision settings, yep, talkback, and then enable talkback or use talkback. Now I do personally like to mute it myself or turn it down as much as I can just because it's a little bit annoying. It's not a requirement, but if it annoys you too, you can get rid of it. So once you have this page open, uh, your talkback will be enabled and because of that uh, the screen will not work as it used to. So the way it works right now, as long as the talkback is enabled, is you tap once on something to select it and then double tap on it to confirm it. And on this page you want to draw a mirrored L on the screen. This will bring up this window right here. So allow Android Accessibility Suit to record audio, double tap on the first option that is already selected, then select use voice commands, and before you double tap on it, I'll quickly go into what you need to say, because this will start listening to you, or listening specifically for a voice command. So it is indicated with a, a beep, so once you hear that like auditory sound, you want to say open Google Assistant, you'll hear probably another beep that accepts your voice command, and another one after that that starts listening to you again and once that happens you want to say open YouTube. So I'm gonna do that right now and hopefully you can get to hear how this goes. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. So it looks like instead of having the beep, uh, we had only one that accepted my voice command and rest of them were just vibrations. So first vibration, uh, you want to talk, then you have a beep to accept it, and then another vibration, you want it to say open YouTube and it will open it up. So anyway, from here, you want to hold volume up and down at the same time. Select turn on, double tap, and then hold the two keys once more. And now we can use our screen normally. So from here you want to click on the account icon, settings, and from there we're going to navigate it to about and then Google privacy policy, which will open up uh, our browser. So select accept and continue and no thanks. And then right at the top we want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. I'll write it down myself first and if you need a moment to copy it just pause the video so now would be the time to pause from here scroll down to settings and then select apps Tap on see all 34 apps, tap on the three dots and select show system. And in here we will start off with Android setup. So I have one right here. You want to select for stop, then go back. And once you have come back to the uh, apps right here, you want to scroll down to Google Play services. Yep, there we go, Google Play Services. And here you want to select Disable, and then Disable Up, and for Stop. 
Now I'm gonna go back again. Once more and once more to look at the settings page. And from here, you wanna scroll down the bottom. You'll find accessibility right here. And you want to now select accessibility menu and enable it. Allow and got it. So one another thing that I recommend doing, uh, which isn't necessarily a requirement, is muting the sound. So press for instance volume down and then select this bell icon and choose the crossed out bell. This will remove the sounds and the reason I recommend this is because once Google Play services have been disabled, when we start going back uh, to the setup it will start spamming the sound that it can't connect to the Google Play services and it gets really annoying. So from here, once you have enabled your accessibility menu, back out. The settings or setup, I mean, and just progress through the setup. Now we should be stuck on this page right here where it's checking for updates just a sec and it shouldn't go anywhere from here. So you can see it's kind of stuck here, which is what we wanted. So once you see this, you want to click on this accessibility menu that we have added and you will select assistant which will give us a not that. You quickly check. Yeah, so you need to press on the keyboard icon. I didn't want to say it just because the device was listening to me, so I didn't know what's going to open it up if I start talking. So you want to click on the keyboard icon. This brings up the settings button, as you've seen, which you want to press, and that will take us to the Google Play Services page where you will want to select Enable. So I'm going to now try to do this. I do warn you, this takes several tries to get it because the phone does kind of turn off the settings and or it closes the page for settings and all around it's just kind of not working all the time so you just need to keep on repeating till you manage to enable the google play services which apparently worked the first time for me now, once you enable it, it will stay open, so press on the back arrow once. I wanted to press some on the screen, uh, just because, again, we used Google Assistant, so it was listening to us. Uh, so press anywhere on the screen and it closes it off. Now, from here, we can finish up the setup, so just go through it and skipping everything that you can. It doesn't really matter what you set up right now, just because the device is still locked. So once you get access to the home screen, navigate into the settings, scroll down to system, reset options, erase all data, erase all data, and then press on the button once more. Now, I'm not gonna go through the, actually, Usually I wouldn't go through this, but the Google Pixel does go through the actual factory reset insanely quick, so I'm just going to do it just so you can see it. It doesn't take much time, at least in this, the case of this phone. So once you press on the erase all data, this will begin obviously a factory reset of the device. And once it's completed, we will be back in the setup of our phone. Now from there, once you access the setup, you can go through it however you want. The device will be fully unlocked and you can connect to Wi-Fi if you want to. And if you don't want to, you can skip this. Everything is optional as it would be normally on a brand new device. So I'm gonna let this finish up and continue once we see the setup. So there is the setup. Now I will be going through it as fast as I can, skipping everything that I can, but like I mentioned, the device is fully unlocked, so you can set it up in a different way if you prefer to choose some other options. And obviously I was able to skip the Wi-Fi connection because the device isn't locked. 
and there we go as you can see the setup just went without any kind of problems so with that being said this is how we can bypass the google verification on google pixel 6a and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching